everybody and welcome back to today's video no welcome back to my channel today i am going to be filming another body shop video which i haven't filmed one in quite a while i try and film like one or two a month or more regular if i can do but that's what i'm kind of aiming for at the minute my current aim for an upload schedule is wednesdays and fridays at 9 a.m which hopefully i can try and stick to that now i don't have uni i like sticking to schedules and things like that and when i don't it really annoys me and i don't feel complete so hopefully i do but today's video was actually requested by somebody so i'll just quickly get it off my phone and um, just so that i can say who requested it also if you do have any video requests body shop or other kind of videos then leave them in the comments and i will try and do them so this person was called izzy r and they said great video do you think you could do a video where you tell us your unpopular opinions about some body shop products maybe really popular products that you actually hate i saw this comment and i was like actually i am 100 percent going to do that video because sometimes people request stuff and i'm like yeah i will do that eventually but this one was like okay i'm actually gonna sit down and do that now because i genuinely think that i have so much to share she said unpopular opinions which means that most people like these products but i don't and i do think i've got some like um some good ones here i can actually make this video again because i have so many so that is that a good thing i don't know but anyway i'm just gonna sit down here and talk you through the products that i personally don't like this is based on my experience and you know my personal taste and my experience with the product so if you really love these products i'm not saying like they're horrible products because otherwise the body shop wouldn't sell them but you know what i mean it just they don't, i don't agree with them and it's just my personal opinion so i just thought to point out by the way that i can't actually physically show the products in this video because i don't have all of them like to hand because i don't like them i do actually keep the empty products like when i finish the products i keep the empty bottles so that i can actually show them in videos but it's in my cupboard and i can't be bothered to go and hunt for it because it requires climbing over my hamster's cage and i just can't be bothered so i'm just going to do a screenshot of the product on the screen and you can just see all the information there so product number one by the way i will do a part two to this video so subscribe if you want to see that liquid peels now some people absolutely obsess over them and when i say some people i kind of do mean body shop consultants because they obviously want to sell the product and they will show the product where they like rub it into their skin or their feet or whatever and obviously it peels and i'm just like questioning whether that is actually like peeling because they say it's peeling off the dead skin like is that actually what happens because i've heard some things like that isn't what happens and it's just the way the formula is and that it will just when it's on your skin like react like that and rub off and maybe it does like exfoliate slightly as well but i just like i just find it a little bit like when i use the product i just don't think it's really doing anything and i just think it's kind of gimmicky however i did have the vitamin c one which i did really like and that one the only reason why i liked it was because it was vitamin c and it did make my face i was gonna say face <laughs> it did <laughs> Sorry, it just reminds me of feces. Um, it did make my face kind of feel quite nice and clean, but I just don't, I just don't really like them. I just don't really see a point to them. And when it comes to exfoliation, like I would rather use a scrub or like the peeling solution from the ordinary or like an acid or something. I wouldn't um, choose that. I just don't think it works. I've got so much dry skin on my feet from, I don't know, walking or something. And it just does nothing to that. Like it literally does nothing. I'll put it on and the product is gone and it just wastes it. Like I can see stuff peeling off, but afterwards I'll look and think, yeah, that looks exactly the same. And it feels exactly the same as it did before. But correct me if I'm wrong on this, please. I currently have the Drops of Youth one. I'm not really using that at the minute because just don't see the point in using it to be honest i did like them to start with when i first started using them but now i've just come to realize that i don't think they're very good i haven't tried the drops of light one but anyway if you disagree with me let me know in the comments and be nice you know you don't have to come and be aggressive to me because i'm not saying that my opinion rules everyone else's i'm just stating what i've experienced and also these have a 4.4 out of 5 star rating and they are 18 pounds for 145 mils i think that's quite expensive oh 18 pound 50. sorry next product that i don't really like which might be quite controversial so product number two 
is the Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Now, hear me out. I did really like this product when I first used it and I did think that it is really good and I, you know, liked the whole point of how quick it was to take off my makeup because you just rub it into your skin, it melts away makeup. I have used cleansing balms in the past, like the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm and also one from Elemis as well. So I am used to cleansing balms, but this one in particular stings my eyeballs and I don't know why. I would just use it and it would like seep into my eyes and sting them. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I just, I just don't, I just don't like it for that factor. And I now currently have my own cleansing balm that I make and sell on my Etsy. It's right here. This is what it is. It's the Fresh Face by Georgie Carr Lemon Scented Cleansing Balm in this tin. It's a bit of a thicker tin than the body shorts, but like smaller in terms of like the circumference no the diameter yeah the diameter is smaller um but like the width of the thing is a bit bigger but i like mine because it doesn't stink my eyeballs and it doesn't like seep into them do you know what i mean if you are interested by the way in any of my products then please check out my ebay and etsy in the description i would appreciate all of the support um but i just thought to kind of mention that you know little cheeky promo but yeah don't like the um cleansing balm I'm very sorry to the body shop, but it does have a high rating at 4.8 out of five star reviews. A lot of people I know do really like it, um, but I think it's just an experience that I have like myself. And it is 11 pounds for 90 mils. If you're interested, my cleansing balm here is 7 pound 49. Product number three is the Seaweed Oil Balancing Toner. I still have that in my cupboard because I don't really like it that much. And also um, I don't want to waste the product. Like I don't want to chuck it out. So I am going to keep it and maybe try and use it in the future. But the last time that I used it, in fact, the last three times I attempted to use it, it made my skin really dry and I didn't like it because of that reason. Like I would literally start getting dry patches on my skin. And this is coming from somebody that has oily skin. Like my skin is so oily throughout the day. I've only just done my makeup, so my skin's not oily now but in about half an hour it will look really oily and it almost like ruins your makeup if you don't powder and I don't want to keep powdering because I'm just chilling at home but yeah when I use that toner it made my skin really dry and that is unusual <laughs> so if you've got dry skin that might not work well for you I know that it is targeted at people with like oily skin so maybe it just works too well I don't know um but that's just my experience I love the smell though and I do love um some of the other things that they've got in their range as well like the moisturizer that they have it has has 4.7 out of 5 star reviews and it costs £8.50 which isn't bad it would last you a long time. Product number four now this is probably my least favourite so far this is a makeup item it is the fresh nude BB cream doesn't matter what shade any shade but the product itself I don't really like the formula and the reason why I don't like it is because I felt like it was quite greasy like I don't know what I mean by that like well I do know what I mean by that but I don't know if you know what I mean by that but it is like a kind of greasy texture in the way that it looks quite oily on my skin and you know very very dewy and no amount of powder would like get the dew away from my skin and also it was kind of patchy on my skin like if I blended it in with a brush you could see the streak marks and it just didn't seem to blend in properly and I just didn't get along with it I'm the kind of person where I'm like a foundation or just no makeup at all kind of person like I'm not going to be a CC or BB cream kind of person because I'm just like if I'm going to wear makeup I'm going to wear makeup as you can see today just saying but I might change but I did look and it's got 271 reviews and only 2.5 out of 5 star rating so kind of like 50 50 basically so it looks to me that it you know a lot of people don't like it as well and it is 12 pounds for 25 mil and there's literally so much good makeup out there that's super super cheap and cruelty free as well and vegan and all that kind of stuff and it's still really cheap so i feel like when it comes to body shop makeup in particular they've got a lot of products that i actually don't really like i think they nail it with a lot of skincare products but when it comes to makeup there's a lot of things that i don't like but there is a couple that i do like the fifth product is another makeup product um it's the matte lip butters now i had a couple of these in different shades i can't remember the shades now i think i tripped them out because I just didn't want to use them. The first time I tried it, I was like, what the heck is this? The word butter in that kind of like sentence just sums the whole thing up. Like I literally felt like I had butter on my lips. It was like dripping off, like not dripping off, but it was like 
coming off and, and it was kind of like powder mixed with butter and it just didn't set on the lips so it would just keep moving around if you had a drink it would just completely transfer and it just didn't sit right on my lips i want something that is going to stay on my lips and even if it doesn't i don't want it to look awful when it you know wipes off it just looked all bitty and patchy and i just didn't like it but again that's my experience with the product i could be using it wrong but i don't know how oh my phone just went boom. so don't like those and it's got a 3.4 out of 5 star rating it's only got 21 reviews sorry about my phone it's just started going off and um and they're seven pounds which I think is expensive for a product I don't like. But remember, I did used to do the body shop at home. So a lot of the products I have, I did get kind of like free with doing that. Like when you hit a sales target, you get like free spends um, to buy stuff. Um, so yeah, but I don't do that anymore because I got my little skincare business. Okay, product number six. I don't have enough fingers, one second. Product number six is the Vitamin E Skin Cooling Gel Mist. I have that upstairs in my skincare little bag and I do use it occasionally. I will use it completely up, but I don't like the product. And I did get it at a discount price because it was new a little while ago, a few months ago. And I just wanted to give it a little try. Somebody was just selling it for half price. So I was like, okay, I'll have that. And I just have mentioned this in a quite a few videos that I don't like this product because I don't see a purpose for it. And also I find the design of it quite weird. It's a gel consistency in like a spray tube. So it actually, it doesn't spray out like a mist or just a normal spray. Like it just comes out of the applicator in like splotches. So you can't spray it across your face and be refreshed. Like you have to spray it into your hand and then like rub it in. And I just think, well, what's the purpose of the spray then? I just don't see it. And also the product itself, like I just think in my personal skincare routine, I just don't see it like having a space. I've got a moisturizer, I've got vitamin C, I've got hyaluronic acid products, things that I feel like have a certain specific place, but that I just, I just don't know. So, you know, let me know if you get along with that, but it, you know, I, le I know that a lot of people don't really like it, um, but on their website, it does have 4.5 out of five star um, reviews. Sorry, it's star rating. And by the way, the product is 12 pounds for 57 mil. Would I recommend this product if you've not tried it before? I, I personally wouldn't, but um, if you wanna get it anyway, just get it. Also, can I just point something out? Don't just take my word for it because I said this in a previous video where I was talking about products that I didn't really get along with just in general. And it was a foam, it was like a foam consistency, like when you squared it out. And in my head, I thought, oh, shaving cream naturally. Even reading like the packaging of it, I didn't associate that actually it's a body mousse. <laughs> so I was in the shower using it and it felt like it was burning my skin. Like it really was quite warm. And I was thinking, oh, what's this? Like maybe I just don't get along with cucumber or something because that was the scent. And it was like hurting my skin. And I was just thinking, oh, I don't like this. Like it's a terrible product. And then I mentioned it in the video and somebody in the comments was like, oh, by the way, just to let you know, you're using the product wrong. It's actually a body mousse that just sinks into your skin. Like outside of the shower and I was like oh my god what idiot like I just sat on YouTube just saying I don't like this product and I'm actually using the product wrong and I was like oh yeah I wouldn't recommend this so just don't take my word for it if I'm ever wrong please correct me because I look like an absolute idiot when I said that so <laughs> I do apologize to everybody that would um think that that's product is bad because I was wrong final product which I believe is the seventh product is an eyeshadow palette so this is the body shop obviously paint and color eyeshadow palette now i had this for well over a year and a bit i think i gave it to my mum now but the reason why i didn't like this was a lots of fallout you get a lot of fallout from the eyeshadows which isn't a problem if the eyeshadows are pigmented which unfortunately they are not i would say in my personal opinion based on trying probably 20 plus eyeshadow palettes that these are one of the least pigmented eyeshadows i've tried the color range and the shades there's you know a lot of shades that are quite similar in the eyeshadow palette when you've got a palette that has you know not that many shades you want to have them where they're quite different and you can do various different looks with them and personally for me there's too many kind of like beigey toned ones and also i just feel like they're kind of random like there's just a random green and a random purple like that's just quite random i just like eyeshadows to either be completely different colors or all kind of tying together and i just 
I didn't like this, but I mainly didn't like it because of the pigmentation and the fallout and I just didn't feel myself reaching for it. I've got so many like better eyeshadow palettes with a lot more pigmentation and different colors that I really love and it is given. It has 26 reviews and it's a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. It's £15 for the this eyeshadow palette. Can I just tell you, there are so many amazing eyeshadow palettes, for example, that Revolution does, that are like £10 and you get like a nice big palette with loads of different shades and the quality is really nice. Just remember how much makeup there is out there and that brands are constantly competing against each other and they're getting better and better when it comes to eyeshadow formulas in particular. So when it comes to the Body Shop one, I would just save you money and get something from somewhere else for 12, for 15 pounds. Cause I think 15 pounds is a lot of money for something like that. Also, can I just point out if you're the kind of person that really likes high-end makeup and that's all that you buy, my channel probably won't be for you because I don't buy high-end makeup. Like, I mean like high, high-end makeup because I, I like cheap stuff, you know, if it goes on my face and it looks semi-decent, then I am not interested in anything expensive. So that is everything for this video. I hope I wasn't too negative because I didn't want to be like really negative about the products. But again, this is just based on my experience. I will film a part two if you want it. So like this video if you do, because there were so many products that I just thought of as I was thinking of this video that I could include, but I just didn't want to make this video too long. So there could be a part two. So let me know. I have tried tons and tons of products from the body shop and I have loads and loads of favorites. So these are just the ones that I don't particularly like because of my personal preference. I will also be filming positive body shop videos, you know, favorite products, that kind of thing, and new launch videos. So please subscribe if you wanna see anything like that. Remember to let me know if you've got any requests for any videos or body shop videos in particular. And also remember if you're interested to check out my little um, cleansing balm or any of my other products on my eBay and Etsy, which is linked in the description, just if you're interested. But yes, thank you for watching this video. I will hopefully see you on Friday at 9 a.m. for a video which I believe is going to be my favorite skincare products currently at the minute. So, yeah, see you then. Goodbye.